Mario, um, thank you so much for inviting us uh, to be here. Governor, it's an honor to be here with you and uh, with our Allegheny County Executive, Rich Fitzgerald. Um, one of the things I just want to tell you briefly about, about the governor, his ability to work with people um, on both sides of the aisle, evidenced by his great working relationship, not, not only with us in the uh, legislature, but uh, with the uh, County Executive, Rich Fitzgerald. It's, it's, it's been to the betterment of all of Pennsylvania. Um, I also just want to say a little bit about uh, one of the, I think, important stories to tell all of you here at U.S. Steel, who must be very, very proud to, to work for this great, great uh, company and what you do. You're so creative and you're so cutting edge and, and you're doing so much for uh, the United States economy and the global economy and the great product and, and processes that you produce. But uh, the governor had, uh, after talking, a number of us had talked to Mario and, and Chris Mashantonio um, and to the importance of investing and helping to invest in your infrastructure um, with respect to uh, both the plants and with respect to uh, the railroad railroad or railway side of the uh, operations for United States Steel. And the governor needed help from the legislature to make sure that uh, it was on, on, on uh, his table, uh, the ability to, to invest $30 million in uh, infrastructure with respect to United States Steel. And, and we, we understand uh, that you have to have basic infrastructure <clears throat> uh, to, to be able to grow and to stay here in, in, in Pennsylvania. And the governor took the lead on that. We got to work and we got that done by, by June 30th. And, and uh, Governor, we salute you and, and to everybody who was part of that process. Uh, and, and it was Mario and Chris that, that, that first came to us uh, to discuss that, that, that matter. And uh, it's gonna make, a, it's gonna make a, a, a very, very important difference. And um, you know, being at this research and development center where you work on product development and, and process development, um, I'm a lifelong, uh, you know, a uh, Pittsburgh area resident, and uh, we're, we're so proud of, of this region and what it does. And uh, my grandparents were all uh, immigrants uh, to this country, coming to the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh region. And so many people uh, got their starts um, at United States Steel or the other steel manufacturers and the related businesses around that. And um, as a result of United States Steel, this region has really been the capital, not only of steel manufacturing, but manufacturing in total for Manufacturing Day, and also the capital of engineering. And uh, for each of you that are part of this continuing creative process, I, I applaud you and I thank you. And uh, it's, it's great to work with you as a, as a partner. One last uh, item that we had worked on with, with Mario and, and Chris and, and the governor, um, we were recently at a conference here in Pittsburgh where people who were from all over the uh, Northeast and Midwest regions, and one of the items of discussion was legislation that could be done on a state level to provide preference uh, from a state government perspective when we procure uh, uh, steel products that there be preference to, to local or, or, or our state manufacturers. And uh, Chris made it clear to the group that Pennsylvania was in the lead and that many people ought to take a look at, at, at what we had, had done. And again, those kind of things do not happen without a great partnership. And uh, as the governor said, getting to know firsthand from you what is necessary to make sure that this business continues to, to, to grow. We love having you in Pittsburgh. Uh, we love having your presence in Pennsylvania, 4,600 some employees. Thank you very much for including me.